Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can reset uh, all the ECUs and the control modules in your car. Uh, this should work for most vehicles. This is a 2005 Ford Explorer. Um, if you have shifting adaptation, if you have uh, certain fuel trims, if you have uh, your idle is not uh, proper, um, uh, almost any sensor value can be reset using this method. Um, it may not work for your uh, specific vehicle, but it should work for most cars. So uh, all that you need is a jumper wire. And so what you're gonna do here, uh, you're gonna remove the negative battery cable. So like so. Okay. So we're gonna remove that, okay? And you wanna isolate it. So, so I'm gonna use a rag and cover the, the negative. And next I'm gonna grab my uh, jumper cable. I'm gonna put one end on the negative and one end on the positive right here. Okay, now I'm gonna leave it um, for five, 10 minutes 15, 20, half an hour, it doesn't matter really. So what this does is it drains, uh, it completely drains all uh, the charge from all the ECUs. If, it's, if it stays static in the positive circuits, it's gonna drain into the negative and down to the ground. So that's what it does. And I'm gonna leave that for 15 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna do an oil change. After I'm done, I'm gonna show you a few steps to do so you can, um, uh, restore the proper idle and uh, uh, restore the proper values and start from scratch. Okay, so now about 20 minutes have passed, so I'm just gonna remove the jumper cable, set it aside, remove this rag, and put the negative back on. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten it. Okay, now when you get back in the car, you wanna put the key in the ignition. And you wanna cycle the key on and leave it on for about 10 to 15 seconds. Just leave it on so let the, the ECU uh, relearn that there's gonna be new values and all that. And then you wanna turn the key off and turn the key on, basically cycle the key. And then you wanna turn the car on. Okay. Now you wanna leave it running for about five minutes. So it can so it can find its sweet spot for idling. Um, you want to leave it on and um, just wait. Basically, turn all the accessories off so they don't consume any power from the alternator, and just leave it leave the car on now for for about five minutes. Okay, now it's been about seven minutes, and you can see it's idling perfectly at about 750-800 RPMs. So right now, what you want to do is you want to run it through the gears. Uh, before we do that, I just want to mention that if the idle still is messed up, uh, there may be another procedure to reset the idle. I have a full entire video on my channel just explaining how to do um, an idle reset if that doesn't work after a battery change or disconnect uh, or a reset in general. So um, you got to go through and cycle the keys a few times and put it in drive and put the e-brake and stuff like that. I have a full video if you want, check it out. Um, it's very helpful. Now, we want to uh, go through the gears. These are my, uh, these are the backup sensors.
Okay, and uh, for the next few hundred miles, you want to drive the car easily. So the shifting adaptation learns how you drive and all the values um, would uh, be properly uh, learned by the ECUs. Uh, so that's it for this video. If this was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.